Now that you're older, you can see all of these movies without adult supervision. Thank God. I wanna fuck. It's my big dick, so everybody get ready fucking now! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for another top 10 movies you shouldn't watch with your parents. For this list, we've chosen more movies full of suggestive content that is bound to create awkward tension between you and your folks. <laughs> Just a couple of guys. <laughs> I'd be hoping you like that. <laughs> if you're considering watching any of these movies with your parents for whatever reason, don't. Just don't. Also, be sure to check out our original list of the top 10 movies you shouldn't watch with your parents if you're wondering where Boogie Nights and Clerks 2 are. Don't you fuck me. Number 10, Zack and Miri make a porno. I apologize in advance if I am out of line here, but are you in gay porn? Why you might watch this with your parents. It's a romantic comedy with two well-known, likable stars. Why you absolutely shouldn't. Dildo lightsabers, R2-D2's nutsack, and Bubbles. Her name Bubbles. You probably shouldn't watch any of Kevin Smith's movies with your parents. You definitely shouldn't watch a porno with your parents. Therefore, this 2008 comedy about amateurs making a porno is a big no-no. Uh, who are you again? Lester. Lester the Molester Cockenstein. No. Wow, <laughs> that is the best porn name I've ever heard, man. I can have a porn name? Complete with full frontal nudity and enough four-letter words to fill a swear jar in record time, you'll have a hard time laughing when your mom's gasping in horror. Hey, man, where are you going? Get the fuck out of here. We gotta finish this movie. <laughs> Number nine, Ted. You got a lot of problems, don't you? It's about a cute little teddy bear. Aw. You know, I wish you could really talk to me, because then we could be best friends forever and ever. Why you absolutely shouldn't. That teddy bear is about as wholesome as the toy sold at a sex shop. <laughs> Stick your finger in the loop of my tag. <laughs> <laughs> If your parents are shocked by the humor on Family Guy, this Seth MacFarlane comedy will give them a heart attack. I don't know that you want to go to a drug dealer with a complaint. No, this I know this guy a long time. I've known him since 9-11. You remember I was like, oh shit, 9-11, I gotta get high. As adorable as Ted looks, he has a bad attitude, a perverted sense of humor, and a depraved vocabulary. The only thing he doesn't have is a penis, raising numerous questions concerning his reproductive system. I don't have to, I'm a fucking teddy bear. Number eight, traffic. You wanna try something? Yeah. Why you might watch this with your parents. It won four Oscars, including one for best director. Now you see. Why you absolutely shouldn't. Cocaine, heroin, and statutory rape. Every mom and dad's worst fear is that their child is secretly a drug addict. Blue, he's a breezing. Oh my god, Even if you're a good kid who stays away from that stuff, traffic will definitely make your parents paranoid about how you're spending your free time and who you're spending it with. While their concern is appreciated, watching a film like this with them is more uncomfortable than a drug PSA. Ugh, that is what I'm talking about. Sarcasm. Always fucking sarcasm. Number seven, Bruno. Ich realized that night that the fashion world was superficial and vacuous. Why you might watch this with your parents. They didn't see Borat and have no idea who Sasha Baron Cohen is. No photos, please! Do you want another Diana on your hands? Why you absolutely shouldn't. It's Sasha Baron Cohen. Come and sit on our great furniture. These are our Mexican chair people. Like Baron Cohen's previous film, Bruno dares the audience not to get offended, making fun of every race, religion, and sexual orientation imaginable. I gave him like a traditional African what name. So what's the baby's name? OJ. Even if your parents are open-minded and have a great sense of humor, chances are they draw the line at talking penises. I don't want to be in your alley. Yeah, well get out of it. Your finger's in my alley. Not yet but at least they're probably better parents than the ones Bruno interviews for a baby shoot. We have chosen your baby mm -hmm. to be dressed as a Nazi officer pushing a wheelbarrow with another baby as a Jew in it into an oven. Into an oven. 
Congratulations. How do you feel? Great. If she got the job, that's, yeah. that's great. Number six, Spring Breakers. Spring Breakers. Why you might watch this with your parents. It has those girls from the Disney Channel. How bad can it be? Why you absolutely shouldn't. Those girls are all grown up. Seeing all this money makes my pussy wet. Smell this shit. Smell this shit. It makes my tits look bigger. This surreal experience does an impeccable job at capturing the spirit of a rave where everybody is drunk, high, and partying like animals. Live life to the fullest. Spring break. Spring break forever. Although that sounds like an awesome trip, it'd be a total buzzkill if your parents came along for the ride. Break, break, bitches! Unless your dad is James Franco, you're better off watching Spring Breakers with your frat brothers. Spring break forever. <laughs> Spring break forever, bitches. Number five, Killer Joe. Who are you? Joe Cooper. Joe Cooper. Why you might watch this with your parents. Matthew McConaughey is the defining actor of this decade. Why you absolutely shouldn't. The NC-17 rating says it all. Do you want me to wear your face? Now suck it. The film's opening scene featuring a bottomless Charlotte Smith is the first sign that Killer Joe wasn't the ideal rental for family movie night. Get out of that man right fucking now! Aside from all the nudity and a scene involving a chicken drumstick, this twisted dark comedy is relentlessly violent, profane, and as far away from a feel-good movie as you can get. Go f yourself. <laughs> If you insult me again, I will cut your face off and wear it over my own. Do you understand? For parents, it ain't all right, all right, all right. Easy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Number four, shame. Slowly. Why you might watch this with your parents. Michael Fassbender has been great in one movie after another. Sounds great, yeah? Why you absolutely shouldn't. He hangs dong. Just, uh, it's just the way it is. Another NC-17 rated picture. Shame follows a sex addict whose hobbies include masturbating, surfing pornography websites, and engaging in relations so graphic they make Fifty Shades of Grey look toned down. Need a hand? No. The hook's all just... Watching shame with your folks is the equivalent of them walking in on you exploring your body. The film also has some blatant incest undertones, meaning that you shouldn't watch it with your sibling either. Pretty please. Look, you get the sofa and you get your ass off it before I leave every morning. I promise I will. Okay, okay, okay. Number three, The Wolf of Wall Street. Why you might watch this with your parents. Your mom loves Leonardo DiCaprio, and your dad loves to look at Margot Robbie. Why you absolutely shouldn't. Sex, drugs, nudity, and up to 569 uses of the F word. Are you f***ing high? <laughs> Jordan, do me a favor, stay where you are. Don't get behind the wheel of the car. I'm a woman, pick you up. If you're looking for a family movie from Martin Scorsese, check out Hugo. Everything else he's ever directed couldn't be less family-friendly. The Wolf of Wall Street being a prime example. Ah! Oh, owie! Owie! Ah! Oh, baby. Oh, you're gonna play rough, huh? Clocking in at exactly three hours, it's hard to think of a moment in this wild roller coaster where something debauched isn't taking place. These little bastards were so strong, I discovered a whole new phase. The cerebral palsy phase. Number two. Eyes wide shut. Is it as bad as that? Why you might watch this with your parents. Stanley Kubrick's one of the greatest directors ever. So on that basis, I should conclude that you wanted to those two models. Why you absolutely shouldn't. Masked orgies. Remove your clothes. Or would you like us to do it for you? While A Clockwork Orange was shocking in its depiction of sex and nudity. Cooper 
Kubrick takes things to the next level here. The fact that Eyes Wide Shut centers on an unsatisfied married couple makes it an especially awkward experience to view it with the parents. A film like this is bound to either rejuvenate their sex life or destroy it. There is something very important that we need to do as soon as possible. What's that? Either way, you don't want to be present. Well, I'm... I'm going to go to bed now. Before we get to our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Just a perfect day. Drink sangria in the park. I don't want to. I don't want to. <laughs> All right, I'll give you something to play with. Number one, the human centipede first sequence. Jenny! Uh, uh, Jenny! Jenny, wake up! Why you might watch this with your parents? You guys rented it on a whim with no knowledge of the film's plot. The Siamese triplet connected via the gastric system. Ingestion by A. Passing through B through the excretion of C. Why you absolutely shouldn't. Just read the synopsis. Seriously, just describing the premise of the human centipede to your parents is almost as painful as sitting through the flick with them. <laughs> Following three people that get too close for comfort, this is practically the prototype for movies you shouldn't watch with your parents. It's a film that's bound to drive your family apart as the characters get attached. <laughs> do you agree with our list? Oh, this is great, I'm fine. I just, you know, I just want to do good. I just want it to be really good, you know? What other movies made for uncomfortable family outings? This isn't working out. Obviously. For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. I'm not f***ing leaving! The show goes on!